Alright, so there is a spelling cutscene in green that you can do. There's several, but there's one on the bottom right here. Alright, so we are on Karim here. So we're gonna go through this. And here there's two buttons. On one of them we're gonna use a statue, and on the other we have to press it with Karim. So we use the statue. And from here you can do a spelling cutscene on this button. The only spell we have is enchant item, and that's the spell you wanna do. And when you do that, you wanna enchant the tool war. So it's like down right on the menu. So let's try that a couple times. That won't work. If you fail the trick, you should just go for the button, okay? So actually what I do is, like I do it there, I enchant the thing, and after I enchant the thing, I just keep holding the direction. So if you failed it, doesn't matter. If you get it, you won't cancel it by holding the direction. Okay? Again, this one is frame perfect. Or if you're really lucky, I think it can be two frames, but it depends on Karim's animation and position. You will know when you get it. It's too close. I mean, too far. That might be it. Yeah, okay. So when you get it, the spell will trigger, even if you're holding a direction, okay? And from here, you want to match B, of course, to get rid of the message. And you can move here, okay? That's like the cool part of this. And you're freely to move on this cutscene, okay? You won't trigger the trappers until after the cutscene is over. And sadly, you can activate this thing too, okay? And if you're too close to the thing, you also never get inside the trigger, so you won't have any V-Prompts. So what you want to do is you want you want to walk around here at most. You want to go farther than this, and then wait until the cutscene is over, and then get inside the elevator. And you will know that because the camera will tilt when the cutscene is over, like that. And you will see your magic here, of course. So as soon as the thing is over, I was actually too close. It can't be that close, so around there. Let's wait there. And there you go. So that saves a little bit of time. It saves more in-game time than real time. And that's pretty cool because on this chapter, if you're going for horror dead skip, you want to be as fast as possible. You have like little room for mistake at the beginning. Because otherwise you might have a soft lock. So if you get this, you actually have a better chance because the timer for sanity effects is frozen during this cutscene. So you save a little bit of time of going here. It's just a little. But the coolest thing is actually that you have an enchanted tool work. 